What's up, everybody? Gibson's Lawn Service checking back in with another one. It's currently uh, Sunday morning. It's like six something. I've been up since uh, five. Look, I, something I was uh, thinking about. Not thinking about, but it's funny how the human brain works. And what I mean by the human brain works is like, as far as men, I'm not saying women don't think like this but I remember when I was a single man I'd be sleep at night and I hear a noise in the house or whatever you know sometimes your house will make a noise or the refrigerator drop ice you know and you can process what that noise is right and I remember being here plenty of times as a single man I hear noise I hear ice drop and then I hear weird noise I know okay that's not right but as a single man I'd be like this is what I would say as a single man if I hear something. I'll roll over back to sleep and like, oh, well, they break it in the house. They break it in. They stealing something. They stealing something. They just better not come in this room. I'm going to blow them away. Because I know where the tool at, right? And I'm not, it's just me in here. That, that don't bother me. But when you laying down sleeping, you have a family. Like, for instance, everybody in my house sick. Everybody has Everybody, had, my wife was sick last Sunday. Today is Sunday. She was sick last Sunday. So she was sick, like bed sick, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Right? So my kids got sick Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and today they're still sick. Well, my wife got, like I said, my wife was sick last week, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. My baby girl got sick Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. My middle child got sick Thursday, Friday, Saturday. My oldest got sick. She coming down with hers today. So it's kind of passed throughout the house. And I say the grace of God been on me because I haven't been sick, um, even though I'm the provider for my family. I mean, if it's his will for me to get sick, then I'm going to get sick. It is what it is. But as I was asleep, I was laying asleep. Right. It's just awesome how God have the human brain work. I was asleep. Okay. It's like everything just slowed down in the slow motion. I'm asleep. Right. I hear my oldest, I hear my middle child crying for her mama. She was making a weird noise I never heard, but she was trying to throw up. My oldest had jumped out the bed and was calling for her mama. And then my wife, she reacted, panicky. Now the whole time, all of this is happening. It's like it's happening in slow motion. Okay, okay, I processed all of that. Second thought, is somebody breaking in the house? Is somebody already in the house? Where's the gun at? What I need to do next, right? All of that process, so when my body jumped up, Everything was already processed. Okay, nobody's in the house. She's throwing up. She running here crying. Everything good. Settle down. But you see how we instantly go into fight mode. We instantly go into fight mode. But as a single man, oh man, whatever. Steal what you want. You come in here, I'm going to blow you away. But it's different when, okay, your family's involved. Right? And I'm not saying all women, but some women don't view things as the man view them. Right, some women instantly go into panic mode. Stay with me. I'm going somewhere with this. Just stay with me. Now, as me running my own business, you have to assess every situation on what it is you need to do. Right? As a single man in business, hey, this the amount of money I made for the year. I'm chilling throughout the winter. Or it's the winter time. I'm just going to hit my full-time job up for the overtime fall back. But as a family man going into winter, okay, the grass is over. Aerations is about over. The only thing I can do now, I can hustle up tree trimming, shrub trimming, late bed maintenance, and fall cleanups. All right? But it's the weekend. You don't have nothing lined up. Well, Saturday, I can go out and hustle up some work. Whoa. Not smart. What you mean? I'm going to go into my full-time job Saturday, and then I'll get back on the hustle grind Monday through Friday. 
but you're only going to make $200 when you go in and go into your full-time job set. That's all you're going to make. I know that. I'm going to take that $200, put it to the side, and then Monday through Friday, we're going to hustle. See, right now, the weekends, as far as week, weekend work for my business, that's off limits. So I'm going to go into my full-time job to get the overtime. And I'm going to hustle Monday through Friday. All right? You have to process your next step. You got to be thinking ahead because, see, next year, it ain't going to be no full-time job to run overtime up. It's going to be all It's going to be all this right here. It's going to be all Gibson's Lawn Service. All right? Now, if I can't hustle up no work in the winter, I got a welding trade, I go grab me a welding job real quick. Um. Like today, today is Sunday. I'm gonna go to work. So I'm going in today. Uh, I'm going in today. Now, another thing I wanted to bring up: the next person cannot speak on the next person on what it is that they need to be doing. It's like, man, you need to do this. Hey, man, you need to do that. Hey, man, it'd be better if you do this. Hey, man, it'd be better if you do that. Everybody gonna always have their opinion on what you need to do in your life. Let me give y'all a quick example. Sound like one of my kids crying. But anyway, a man was walking into town. He had a uh, a donkey, whatever you want to call it. Don't need a donkey, horse, whatever. Man was walking into town. It was the man. It was a little boy and the donkey. The man put the little boy on the donkey, was walking into town with the donkey. And somebody said, hey, man, why are you walking? And leading the donkey, one of both y'all ride on the donkey. So then the man jumped on the donkey, he riding the donkey. Him, the son, they riding in town. And another person come up, man, y'all killing that donkey, man. Why don't you get off and then leave the donkey instead of killing the donkey? All right? So then the man to jump back off, lead the donkey. And another guy say, man, you know, y'all almost in town. Once you give your donkey a break, you and your son walk and you lead the donkey into town. So then he did that. Then the next person, man, why y'all walking? Why don't both of y'all ride the donkey? The point of the story is, you know what's best for you and your household. That's what it is you need to do, whatever's best for you and your household. Yeah, people going to always have their opinions on what you need to do. You need to do this, you need to do that. But if, if you, you know, God did give you a brain for you to think for yourself. There's nothing wrong to seek out wise counsel. Take everybody's advice and their opinions and then sit back and pray on it and say, okay, this is what I need to do. This is what I'm going to do. It's not about greed. Some people will look at it. Some people will look at my situation and say, well, man, you know, done lawn care all year. Now you about to work overtime. Why don't you just chill out with the overtime? But see, that's the thing. You don't know a person's situation. All right. Because see, people on the outside will be looking in and say, man, he's he been cutting grass all year like he said. He should have about 50000 saved up. Why he being greedy? See, that's always an outside perspective on what the next man is doing. I had to go check on my daughter. I don't remember why I left off, but I'm just about to uh, make this short and end it. Like, um, okay, I'm, I'm trying to see how I can put this where y'all won't take it as though I'm cold-hearted or I don't care. But... Uh, as men, we have to see things for what it is, and we have to look and see, okay, this is the best decision to make. Now, my wife kind of felt like I should have took, like when she was sick Sunday, her worst days was Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. She felt as though I should have stayed home uh, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Sunday morning, we went to church. Sunday night, she wasn't feeling good, so I went ahead and went to church with the kids Sunday night. Monday, I knew she wasn't, wasn't feeling good, but I had jobs lined up Monday. So Monday, I went and done the jobs. I shut down early, come back home Tuesday. Okay, Tuesday, she still wasn't feeling good. I went out Tuesday, done a few jobs, shut down early, came back home. Wednesday, took her to the doctor, took my two kids to the doctor, went and got them their uh, medication, Went and got everybody something to eat, brought them home, went and jumped on my route. I didn't get started Tuesday to Wednesday until about 2 o'clock. Couldn't get much done. Thursday, I went out, finished up what I needed to finish, come back home. Friday, I went out, done a little more, came back home. Uh, and then Friday, 
night, I went into my full-time job. Left my full-time job Friday night, came home, got three hours of sleep, went back into my full-time job for eight more hours, and then came back home. Now, I could have stayed home from church Sunday night. I could have stayed home Monday. I could have stayed home Tuesday. I could have stayed home Wednesday and picked up Thursday. That wasn't the smartest thing to do. I understand that you're sick. But it's not life threatening. Man, you cold hearted. Listen. Get close to the camera. Come here. Come here. Come here. Listen. Listen. If you are in a one income household and the man is making the money or the woman is making the money and somebody is home with the kids, that money flow cannot stop. It ain't about the money. It's not about the money. Like I said, the bills are paid up for a few months. But that don't mean, let me ask you, how you think the bills got paid up for a few months? You think they got paid up? Oh, man, I sneezed. Let me stay home. Bills don't get paid up like that. Bills get paid up by you going to work and making a way and being smart with the money. Okay, we up with the bills now so we can relax. No, it's time to go even harder. Because, see, now, now the, full, the, 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 the lawn service has slowed down. So now... You can get all the rest you need to turn up on this full-time job. It's not a lot of money. Yeah, it's not. Me going to work six days a week or seven days a week at my full-time job is not a lot of money because I was making that on the lawn care side in about two days. So right now we stay, we gonna, we're going to keep saving a little bit. We're going to still pay down the debts. We're going to still uh, put money in ties and offerings. We're still going to try to invest here. You have the money flow cannot stop. So, okay, how sick are you? Is it life-threatening? Is it is it bad, bad, sick? Okay, I still need to go. Now, see, if you got... <laughs> Man, I'm about to hurt y'all feelings. You can't sing and dance to your wife's tune every time she play the beat. You have to know when to sing. You have to know when to dance. And when you have you you have to know when to entertain it. Okay. You can't sing and dance to her beat every single time. Okay. Are you the man? If you're not the man, I'm sorry. Who run the house? Uh, stop watching this video and go get who run the house. Who the man of the house? See, a lot of y'all don't like to hear that. Run the house. What do you mean about run the house? Listen, clown, 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 clown. Everybody has a role to play when it comes to a family. You got the man, you got the woman, you have the children. When you riding down the highway and you have a flat tire, who's supposed to get out that vehicle and change that tire? Is the kid supposed to get out? Is the wife supposed to get out? Or is the husband supposed to get out? See, this generate the generation we're living in now, people don't know how to play their roles. People do not know how to play their roles, and that's why they are, they are in the predicament they are in. See, I know my role. I know the role. What's your role? My role is to make sure this family is provided and well taken care of. My needs and wants don't matter. It's make sure my family needs are met. Some of their wants, not all, make sure they got a roof over their head. Clothes on their back, food on the table, and make sure they don't go lacking. So in order for them not to go lacking, the money flow can't stop. It's all about the money. The money flow can't stop. It's not about the money. Because God even says, if a man can't provide for his family, oof. if a man can't provide for them in his own household, oof. so I'm going to make sure I can provide first. Then I'm going to make sure you're healthy. Then I'm going to make sure it is. But if but see, like I say, and see, I know how women I know how women think. I have a mother, three sisters, a wife, and, and three daughters. They run on emotions. And it's not to take a stab or a shot. It's it's emotions. And what I mean by it's emotions, if it was up to my wife, I'd have took the whole week off, stayed home, make sure everybody was good. That's fine. Okay, but now we got a week lacking of no money coming in. That money flow can't stop. 
Now, if the, if the sickness would have got serious, okay, all right, we got a little bit put up. We head on the bills. Let me take this week off. Now, imagine a man that's not up on his bills and don't have any money. He's screwed. He can't stop. And when he stopped, hey, man, you got a late notice. You know what you're supposed to be doing as a man. Don't get don't get on here and act a fool just because you're watching this video with your wife and you singing and dancing to her tune. You singing and dancing to her tune, ain't you? I know you is. I know. Let me speak to the woman of the house then. Get out the way. Look, just leave. Uh, spouse, woman, or girlfriend, send your man out the house. Send him out the house right now and me and you need to have a talk. Tell him to get out. Say, get out right now. Be patient with your boyfriend or husband. He has to go get on the grind. He can't stay home every time you sneeze. He's a man. Let him be a man. Let him take some money and invest in himself. Let him have dreams, goals, aspirations. Stroke his ego a little bit. Just stroke his ego a little bit. And when I and when I say that the man runs the house, it's that. Let me ask you this, girlfriend, wife. When somebody break in the house at three in the morning, you expect your man to jump out the bed and handle it right. If it comes down to a knife fight or a gun fight, you do expect your husband or boyfriend to jump in front of the bullet for you and the family, right? Because by me being a man in the house, I'm going to jump in front of the bullet to protect the family. I'm going to take the knife fight to protect the family. I'm going to change the tie when we're on the side of the road for the family. I'm going to work when I'm sick to keep the family going. I'm not going to let the money flow stop. That's what I mean by the man runs the house. I'm the man of the house. I'm the king of this castle. But guess what? I treat the woman like she's the queen. When you treat the woman like the queen, she will treat you like the king. Titles don't matter because all my stuff is biblical. I don't dog my wife. I don't treat her like crap. I treat her the best as I can. And I try to give as much time as possible without letting the money flow stops. Be patient with your significant other. Be patient with your significant other. Because the the man the man can crush a woman's spirit. He can he can break her heart. He can dog her. He can. Women are more patient than men. They are. That's why a man can run out here and cheat and that woman to forgive him and bring him back. But a man just can't deal with that if the tables are turned. But stroke his ego. You know, let him start a business. Just give him the thing. Don't be on him so hard. Just just be patient with him. Now, go get him and tell him he can bring his sorry behind back in the house. Go get him. I'll wait. Okay, now that the man is back, uh, I did speak to your wife. Uh, she will now let you um, be the man of the house. Listen, man, think for yourself. You have your own mind. God gave you a mind for a reason to think for yourself. Take everybody's advice into consideration and then do the things that you need to do. As long as it's not a detriment to the family. I'm gone.